Hi, this is Amy. I just recently did a video on how I repair holes in denim, and I thought it might be a good idea to show you how to do some of the very basic things that you need to know how to do to use a sewing machine. So, here we go. The first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is to insert a needle. You'll need to know how to do this because most beginners will sew too fast or sew over a straight pin or something and they will break a needle and you will have to replace the needle. Well on my machine, and I, I don't know if they're all the same, I know this is uh, Singer style machines, they have a flat back needle and most of the time the flat back will go toward the back of the machine. You'll find the hole where the needle fits and shove it up as high as it'll go and tighten down the little screw on the side of the needle holder. And that's how you insert the needle. Next I'm going to show you how to thread the machine. Pull the thread from the spool, wrap it around where it says number one, carry it around number two, pull it through number three, and there's a little thing that'll keep the thread from backing out, down through number four, and my machine has an automatic needle threader. So you'll pull that down and make sure that it went through the needle hole. Put the thread under the two little guides and it'll hook on the little metal piece. You let go of it and then you pull the thread through. And then the top part of the machine is threaded. Now I'm going to show you how to put in the bobbin. I got a machine with a drop-in bobbin because it's what I prefer. It's a Singer style thing. I'm sure other machines do it. This is this is a Kenmore, but it it has a drop-in bobbin. I don't like messing with the bobbin case. I've only had one machine that was like that and I didn't use it. So first, you drop the bobbin in with the thread coming uh counterclockwise toward you. And there's a little guide that you'll run the thread up under. And you pull it up to the side. Then you'll grab the thread from the the upper part of the machine and turn the wheel, the feed wheel, and then you'll pull the thread through. And then your bobbin is threaded. Next, I'm going to actually show you how to sew. Now, my foot feed is down under my sewing machine on the floor, and you use your foot to use it, hence the name foot feed. First, put your fabric under the machine, under the uh, feed dog, over the feed dogs, under the, the presser foot, and on top of the presser plate. Lower the presser foot, and you'll make sure that the stitch length is where you want it and the width of the stitch. And if you're doing straight stitch, the width doesn't really matter. And then make sure it's on the stitch you want. I've got a straight stitch uh, aligned in the center. And most of the time when you start off, you're going to want to back tack to keep the stitches from pulling out. So you'll sew a few stitches, hit reverse, reverse a few stitches, and then sew forward by depressing the, the foot feed. And then when you get to the end of where you want to stitch, you'll reverse a few stitches, and then go forward a few stitches. And then you've sewn your first line.